once again with you, what you represent as uh, your team is next to you, because maybe someone still doesn't know. <laughs> uh, this is Eduardo Grassi, the head of delegation from France, and he's Italian. Ciao a tutti! <laughs> okay, ciao. So, um, did he have an opportunity to visit some places finally? Yeah. <laughs> okay, two days ago. We actually did, um, the, you the, know, we the went up there. The thing, yeah. thing to go up, it was beautiful. The view from upstairs. Wow, that is something. Yes, I did something. And I went to the to a really nice hotel. Uh, Paramount. Paramount Hotel. Beautiful. Yes, incredible. Your village. And the Euro Village. Yeah, oh, that's nice. Oh, actually, I did a lot of things. <laughs> uh, maybe you had a small short performance over there, no? No, not yet. Uh huh. Okay, but you will do. Yes, I was filming the postcard and everything yesterday. And maybe I will. I hope I will. It depends on the weather, actually. If it's rainy, we'll probably. No, 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 we will fix it. Okay. No <laughs> rainy days here. I'm in charge of it, I know it. <laughs> So, um, today you had your second rehearsal. Yes. Could you please share your emotions, how it was uh, on your very first day and then today maybe something changed? Yes, um, we had to change some camera angles, so I had to change some of my uh, movements. It was, uh, it was stressful, honestly, like I arrived on stage and I was like, ah, I don't remember what I have to do because I, I practiced so much the other, the other staging choreography that I was saw so that interview of some vlog that was filming you like the backstage and he was doing it in a small time yes. uh, conference room like yes. doing all your staging yes exactly so I have to practice every day so it's like inside of me mm -hmm. so this was a little bit stressful but uh, in the end it's very good that I can practice live and with everything so now I can focus on what I have to work on and be prepared for the semi-final. <laughs> so, should we move on with the questions from the floor, Priya? Please. <laughs> Eurovision artists. And then you over there, yes? Bonjour. Bonjour. So it's uh, Martin van der Feen, Eurovision artist in the Netherlands. And I have two questions for you. Yes. Your name, your full name is Alexandra Maquet. Why don't you use your uh, regular name, but it's an artist name instead? And the second one is um, that you, uh, today is a very important day for France. And I don't know how it works in France, but uh, were you able, unless you're not in France itself, to vote? And if yes, did you vote? Yes. <laughs> um, the first question... Uh, I choose to take the first two syllables of my name and my last name, and it, it, it's Alma, and Alma means soul in Spanish and in Portuguese, and I think it's a beautiful name. I wish my name was Alma since I was born, so I'm very lucky. And all my sisters and my dad is actually, his name, first name starts with A and L, so we are all Almas, so it's like a family thing, and I think it's very representative of who I am, because it's a very fan of my family, like, we're so close. <laughs> and uh, the second question, yes, you can vote even if you're abroad, is you have to sign something to one of your friends and it goes to vote for you. So you get it? Vote. Yes, of course. <laughs> ah, we need to vote on this day. Great. Um, yes, you please. Destination Eurovision Poland. My question today is very short. If you can use just five words to describe your Eurovision journey as a whole and your song, which two words you will choose? Oh. Okay. Magical, um, dreamy, uh, yeah, stressful. <laughs> Super lucky to be a part of it. <laughs> that was one word, by the way. Okay, nice of you. Thank you so much. That's what I always ask you to stand up because I can see you. Oh, hello again. Hello. Um, I'm always impressed by you and your song. But uh, I'd like to ask you a bit. She's taken. She has a boyfriend. I'm sorry. Oh. 
Don't. That's not problem. Don't. I enjoy it as well. Um, I have uh, not a question to your song, but to a song which exactly 40 years ago went to victory. The last victory of France, hopefully maybe next week not. Um, is it possible for you to sing us a little bit of Le Soir et l'Enfant, the winning song from 1977? Sure. I don't know the lyrics by heart though. Comme un oiseau passé de lumière qui voit passer au loin les oiseaux. Comme ces désirs tirés dans la terre, voit comme le ciel le monde est beau. Interesting to hear you talk about your name. I grew up in a smaller town. One of our main streets is Alma Street. Really? So come to Rockhampton in central Queensland sometime <laughs> and you can have a photo Thank with you. a street named after you. I will definitely come one day. Um, Matea has already mentioned today is an important day in France. Has that affected your performance, concentration, particularly rehearsing today on such an important day and the theme for this year's Eurovision is celebrate diversity. How does your song and your performance speak to that theme and to France on a very important day like today? That is such a serious question. <laughs> um... I tried, I, honestly, this morning I was so fo focused on my rehearsal that the elections, like what's happening right now in France, does not have an impact of, in my rehearsal because this is very important to me that I have to focus so much and I have to be concentrated. Of course, I think of it and I really hope that French people will be smart and want to celebrate diversity with all of us because what's happening in all the world actually is, I think for me, very sad. And this is why like, we celebrate diversity and this is what we should all be doing. And for me, I mean, my song is very dynamic, it's very fresh and, you know, light. Um, uh, and yes, and <laughs> obviously. Uh, and the most important thing in my song, it was, it's that different influences uh, from the world is inside, are inside, from the south, from the Mediterranean, from the east. I like the rhythm, and I really like the fact that it's like the tango, so like Buenos Aires. It's a very, it's a big mix of all my travels and all the people I surround myself with. And I think France has this image, and. I hope we will keep it like this for the rest of the life. And that's it. Yes, you please. Uh, hello, Alma. Good luck for Eurovision. I love your hotel. It's so cool. Thank you so much. Uh, I am Aras and I am from Turkey. I am editor uh, in Eurovision Dream and Info Turkey. Uh, I have a little question. Uh, which singer is your best friend in Eurovision? Mm -hmm. <laughs> this Everyone year? Everyone is our best friend. Yes, this year. This year. Um, I'd say Kashimov. <laughs> I love her. I love Paula. Should be uh, after have a question from Paula, maybe. Yes, over there in the red t-shirt, please. <laughs> you don't have any questions? Yes, please. Yeah, I know that you're not from Poland. Sorry, I'm from Poland. My name is Nevo, I'm a fan from Israel. First, I wanted to thank you for coming to Tel Aviv. It was wonderful and you were fabulous. <laughs> um, um, I wanted to continue with the name theme, just so you know that Alma means Mademoiselle. Yes. Only Amir told me. <laughs> yes. It's beautiful as And well. I wanted to tell you that the lyrics are very powerful, uh, especially regarding the politics and, and the selection. And does it have a political meaning as well as a personal message? 
Well, actually, I think this song is a metaphor for you can actually apply it to everything, and what will like help you go through difficult times, like in any kind of thing, society, politics, uh, you know, a loss or a breakup, everything that can actually touch you. Like the message that is important to me is that you always have to smile because, I mean, if people want to vote for a crazy person, you know, it's like you cannot do anything about it. You try to fight against it, but now you have to live with it and just smile. And I mean, <laughs> you have to you have to be stronger than what they are. You know what I mean? So this is what really the song is about. It's like chaos, darkness. It sucks. Of course it sucks, but you have to be stronger and smile all the time. <laughs> what are the three most important things in your life that make you smile? For me it's love. Only love from your friends, your family and your boyfriend. It's very important. Great. Oh, okay, moving on. Yes, please hold on in the first row and then you guys over there. Hi, bonjour. Well, yeah, also a political question about politics. Oh, come on, but we're celebrating diversity, there's a song contest, you know? I know, but it's so connected. Anyway, uh, the question is, homage plus condoms uh, the uh, uh, during your performance, you move rather than dance, and the song is so catchy. Why you decided not to dance on uh, your stage? I'm trying to dance as much as I can, because that's not my first uh, talent, let's say. <laughs> so I'm trying to move more and I'm trying to have fun. That's all, like, that's really what matters and I'm working very hard with the choreographer to be able to just do everything at the same time, because I come from a background what I see with my piano, you know, so this is a very challenging thing for me. So I didn't want to have a choreography, it was too much for me to handle. So. This is the only dance that I'm going to do, but I'll try to do as, as much and as good as I can. It's great, really, from the remark, Paris looks really great on all these visual effects. Thank you, this thing, yeah, they did a great really job. Really and every time the member of one family is in the second round, France do well. I mean, every presidential elections you have and you connect it to your vision song contest. When one member of this particular family is in the second round, France is always in the top. So okay. we'll <laughs> Thank, see you. Thank, Thank you. Thank you so much. Yes, over there you guys please. Hello, my name is Ahmed I'm from Madame Rue. And um, I have uh, three questions. Yes. But uh, no, start with have that. too much time. No, no, it's very quick. Uh, uh, for you about the dance, uh, no matter how much you dance, the thing is that you do it good, so it's fine. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Um, uh, one question is for the head of delegation. Yes. It's uh, what has been the change, okay, since last year and this year, because we've seen uh, a decrease in, in, in what was. Okay. Uh, we have a minute fifty-eight seconds, so I'll try to answer very quickly. Okay. The change in France has been from me choosing um, ready fighting songs and parties who can represent not only the French society but also the European youth and you know diversity as we were talking about before. Also, I think we have been taking uh, staging very seriously as we can see this year we try to make an effort to make it very modern even though we play with the French cliché. Um, that's mainly what has been done. Then we, of course, have been working on the Eurovision brand, which is extremely important now in our country. And of course, try to turn upside down the bad history of France in the Eurovision and make it something cool and fresh. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks for that. Um, two really easy uh, and fast questions. Uh, the first one: Are you planning to release uh, Requiem in other different languages? Because I think it. Really Not yet, but this is a question that comes a lot, so maybe I will think of it. Okay. Um, oh, no, sorry, I'm sorry. Oh, yeah. That's the your delegation, yeah? yes. Yes. And it would like to hear his father. Sorry. Hi. That's going to be the last question, Bonjour. okay? Bonjour, Fabien, one minute, 20 minutes. Uh, I would like if uh, there will be any other changes uh, before the, the final uh, in the staging, or if it will Three stay uh, like we have seen this morning. Mm -hmm. If you are going to change something. Je veux, je veux, je veux répondre plus tard. Okay, we, we, we are, we might change or we might add some things. We're not sure yet. 
we're working on it, we're not talking about it right now, but we have been uh, suggested to add elements on stage. Uh -huh. So we are, we are thinking about it. Maybe it's not going to work. Um, okay, so we don't have time, unfortunately, and still we have to do a very important mission. We have to draw in which half of the grand final you are going to perform. And then we give this show with over there in the middle. <laughs> 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 we want you to be in the second half. Congratulations on that. We opened your vision so uh, um, uh, with uh, with Amandine Bourgeois, we were really early also, I think, with Isa Angel, so we really wanted to be once in the, in the, in the second half. Yes! Finally, you got it. Thank you very much for all the questions. Very interesting. Thank you.